Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Fun. How are you today? So I told you today we're gonna to do science. So we're gonna do science with a little bit of art. So um, I want you to take out a couple of things before we get started. I know some of you guys have your science bags that we got, gave you yesterday. So take out one straw, um, and then inside there should have been some food coloring. I think everybody got two, um, and I, I'm gonna, I got red and blue, so I'm gonna take out my red and blue food coloring and my straw. Then ask your mom or your dad or grandma or grandpa if you can have just a little bit of detergent that you use for dishwashing detergent. And some water and maybe two bowls. It could be two cups, two bowls, anything where you can put a little bit of water into, all right? So why don't you go get that? So once again, get your straw your two food coloring, um, two different containers, bowls, cans, um, even a plate, something where you can put a little water, a little bit of dishwashing detergent, and um, put some water in a cup and then um, join me. And then get a piece of paper. A piece of white copy paper would be great, but any paper will do, all right? So go get those. Hi boys and girls, welcome back. So did you get all your stuff? So first, um, have a piece of white paper, it could just be blank, um, but you can get any color paper that you want. And then second, you were supposed to bring your two bottles of food coloring and one straw, or you can take out two straws. I put in extra straws for you in the baggie. Um, some dish, dishwashing detergent. Um, some water, not too much water, just a little cup of water. And then um, two bowls or two cups or um, just two containers where you can put a little bit of soap and a little bit of water. Do you know what we're going to make today? Do you, can you guess? We are going to do bubble painting. So are you ready? Okay, boys and girls, are you ready? So first we're going to take one of your bowls or a cup or a lid or a pan, somewhere where you can... Um, have some water and liquid in there. So we're gonna take your dishwashing detergent and just a little squeeze, um, maybe just like a spoonful. See, not, not too much. And then you're going to add um, one of your food colorings. I'm gonna do blue, maybe like, maybe two or three drops. And then I'm gonna mix it a little bit. See how, hey, you see the color? Yeah, it's like a little dark blue. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. So the water should just um, maybe cover it up a little bit. So you see how it's like maybe um, twice the size amount and then I'm gonna stir it again. So are you stirring? Okay, boys and girls, after you've mixed your mixture and it's, it's mixed really well, you're gonna take a straw. You can use the same straw that you um, use to mix it up your soap and your water and your food coloring with, or you can take a different straw. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna practice blowing. Because when we see a straw, usually you use it to drink something that's a liquid, right? You, you kind of suck in the liquid and it goes down your throat. But this time we're not gonna be doing that. So it's real important that you really practice. So this time we are going to blow into the straw. So first, you know what blow is? Blow is when air comes where? Up, up from your body, so you're gonna blow. So let's practice blowing. Like when you're blowing a bubble. So you feel the air coming out? Okay, so next we're gonna take our straw and we're gonna practice blowing the air through the straw. Do you feel the air? Then you're doing it right. So now we're ready to bubble paint. So what you're gonna do, boys and girls, with your straw, you're going to blow into the mixture. Remember, don't suck it up, you're gonna blow like this. Do you see the bubbles coming out? What do you think's inside? You can do this for a little bit and kind of make really cool, interesting shapes and bubbles in there. It's kind of like a nice experiment itself. But we're going to bubble paint. So once the bubbles are all blown up like that and they're filled with something, we're going to take our paper and just put it on top. And then you'll see, you'll see, if you look really close, you'll see a little bit of the bubble shapes in them. So we're gonna do that a couple of times. 
So remember, you can put your paper um, wherever you want on top of it. See, you like that one? See, wow, look, that one splattered. And we'll do it again. You might want to change positions. See how the see how the liquid absorbs the paper. The paper absorbs the liquid. <gasps> Look at that. That's like cool. I can see a whole bunch of different shapes of bubbles all in my picture. Um, so now, now that you know how to do this, you can use a different color. So with your other bowl, you do the same thing. So remember, remember what to do. So just a little bit of soap. And then a different color. I'm gonna use red this time. Like three drops. And then once again, you're gonna stir it up a little bit. And you're gonna add a little bit of water. And stir and stir and stir. That's how you're putting. So what are the three things in the three liquids are in there? Do you remember? It's water, dishwashing detergent, and food coloring. They're all liquids in there. Oh, you see some bubbles already? Guess what? There's something in the bubbles too. What do you think? Do you know yet? What am I blowing into it? Okay, so I did it several times. And if I look really close, if you look really close with me, you can see some of the bubble shapes. The sh see the shapes of the bubble? It's imprinted onto your bubble painting. Isn't that nice? Now, boys and girls, if you remember about colors, we know that sometimes when we mix two colors, we can make a totally new color. I happen to have um, red and blue, and if I want, I can maybe mix them, and maybe it'll come out to a different color. So if I put a little bit of my blue in with my red, if I mix it, it might give me another color. And maybe I want to add that. Yeah, maybe I get a little purple. But you don't have to do that. And maybe some of you don't have two primary colors to mix, but it's just another option. You can make as many bubble printings as you want. Um, and then after that, you might want it to dry because I'm going to do something um, with your bubble paintings when they dry. So um, put them away and let them dry a little bit. And when they're ready, they're going to look like this because I did this yesterday. So this was my bubble painting yesterday. It's the same colors, it's with red and blue. So when you finish with your bubble painting um, and you're satisfied with it, go ahead and let it dry for a little bit. So when your bubble painting is dry, boys and girls, you can use it for, for making a card. You know, you can fold it in half and make a card. Or what I wanna do is I wanna draw on my bubble painting. So the bubble painting becomes a background for my picture. So, um, and I really like to use the color black because black really shows up. So if you, but you can use any color you want. So you, I might wanna think about what you wanna draw on your bubble painting. Um, I know I've been home with my family a lot, so I think I'm gonna draw my family. And you could draw your family too, or you could draw anything you want. Because remember, art's never wrong, and it comes from you, so whatever you draw is great. So why don't you draw something, and I'm gonna draw something too. Drawing is pretty easy. It's just a bunch of shapes, and you can't do it wrong because Art is beautiful no matter what it, what you draw. So I'm gonna draw my family. And I know Bryce is the tallest, so that's why I have him there very tall. And I know there's Daniel. And he's wearing a short sleeve shirt. And I'm just, you know, you can use just lines and shapes for, for your drawing. So I'm just using lines. And I'm using shapes. I might have Bryce walking, so I might curve his his leg a little bit. So here's my picture, boys and girls. I decided to use my bubble, um, my bubble painting as the background to what I wanted to draw. And since I've been spending a lot of time at home, I drew my family. So here's Bryce because he's the tallest, and Daniel because he has a new phone and he really likes it, and me. Um, I'm, I'm walking, um, burger cause we get to walk a lot these days cause we're still at home a lot. 
And here's his poopy bag. And of course I have to always hold his poop. That's just the responsible thing to do. So anyways, I hope you enjoy doing bubble painting. Did you figure out what's inside the bubble? Did you say it was water? Is there water inside the bubble? Did you say it was air? I don't know. What do you think? Um, and before we go, we have um, a quick um, announcement from Petey. Uh, yeah, that's true. And you make a big mess. Mm, yeah, I guess. But anyway, I want to congratulate Judith for being the first and well, and first and only one to turn in a picture of her learning wall. Because in the last video, I asked for someone to take a picture of their learning wall and then send it to Miss Fung on Clash Dojo. And then I would give them an autographed picture of me. And uh, she was the first one, so eh, this is coming your way. It's, a, it's an official autographed picture of me. It says, Petey, that right there, that's my signature. And it says, to Judith, keep smiling, Petey. Thanks, Petey. I think Judith will appreciate that. Oh, yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining me in making bubble paintings today. I hope you had fun. I had fun. And now that you know how to make them, you can do them anytime. And while you blow bubbles, you can watch um, them blow up, and you can see all the different sizes and shapes. And you don't even have to use food coloring. Just have fun with it. So remember, tomorrow is Wednesday, and it's Writing Wednesday. So get ready to write. I have a special place I want to take you before we write. Um, I hope you're having a great day. I miss you. And um, be responsible. Be good leaders at home too, okay? See you later.